Hey, hello there guys and welcome to this tutorial. I am Ahmad Kuta. I am a tutor in mechanical engineering and uh, what I will do today is I will derive for you the uh, continuity equation which is uh, one of the governing equations in uh, fluid uh, mechanics. So uh, what we need to do here it's actually you can take it as a part of a series where uh, you will have in this uh, uh, first tutorial the continuity equation next we will have the navier stokes and the third we will have the energy equation and thus we finish the uh, all the governing uh, equations so first of all we need to derive here the uh, continuity equation and let me uh, just give you the uh, equation that we are going to reach here it is that you see in your uh, textbooks delta rho over delta t plus delta rho uh, u divided by delta x plus delta rho v divided by delta y plus delta rho w divided by delta z is equal to zero. This is the equation we are going to reach. Now we will erase it now for now and we will see how we can reach this. So we start by uh, considering the uh, fact that the uh, mass uh, mass flow rate coming in to this uh, control volume let's uh, just make it better so the mass flow rate coming in is equal uh, to that remaining inside plus what is going uh, out so let's take the axis here let's take this to be the y-axis let's take this axis down to be the x and let's take this to be the z axis. For now, uh, the uh, mass flow rate in is coming from three sides. The first is in the x direction, and also it is coming from the uh, bottom, which is the y direction. This is m dot in y, and it is coming in the z direction on this face, which is m dot in z. So it is going out the mass there is a mass remaining in the control volume because we are considering also unsteady uh, condition and i will show you how to consider the steady condition then and uh, to reduce the uh, equation or the expression so m dot uh, this is m dot out in the y direction this is m dot out in the z direction which is on the face behind and this is m dot out in the x direction so uh, how can we start let's write the equation we are going to use now uh, before we write it let's uh, agree on something that m dot is equal to rho multiplied by v dot which is this is the mass flow rate which is equal to the density of the fluid multiplied by the volumetric flow rate and this is in kilograms per second however these terms are in meter cubed per kilograms this is for the uh, row and it is multiplied by the volumetric flow rate which is uh, sorry uh, this is uh, <laughs> I did a mistake here it is uh, kilograms per meter cubed and times uh, the volumetric uh, flow rate which is meter cubed per second so meter cubed crosses out with meter cubed and you will have kilograms per second so uh, this is actually uh, related to the units now m dot in is equal to m dot out mass flow rate coming inside is equal to that going plus what is remaining here so it is plus m dot remaining what is m dot remaining it, it is actually the unsteady uh, term of the function which is the delta rho divided by delta t multiplied by the volume of the uh, cube which is the control volume delta x delta y delta z so this is one part of the expression we derived it now we need the m dot out what is m dot out and what is m dot in so let's go down and let's see how to bring m dot in m dot in is actually the mass flow rate in the x direction we will start so in the x direction 
actually uh, the dimensions here is in the z direction delta z this side is delta z this is delta y this side here and this is uh, delta x which is down here so this uh, distance is delta x so uh, the area of this side is uh, the uh, delta z times delta y and uh, here you will have the uh, mass flow rate going in the x direction is equal to rho u the u is the velocity of the fluid in the x direction because we have here let's write it up here we have the velocity component is equal to u v w u in the x direction v in the y direction and w in the z direction and we start here by uh, writing rho u which is in the x direction multiplied by the uh, face area which is dy dz so this is dy dz now the same will be done for the mass flow rate in in the uh, y direction which is rho multiplied by the velocity v in the uh, y direction multiplied by dx dz because the face here down is this is dz multiplied by d x plus that in the uh, the mass flow rate in the uh, direction uh, z which is a row w multiplied by d uh, d x d y so you can see here this is d x and this is d y now this is all equal to m dot in so now we have m dot in what uh, sorry we have m dot in and what is remaining is m dot out m dot out is the uh, mass flow rate in which is this for this expression this expression this expression each of these expressions plus the change which is occurring in this expression and uh, the uh, during the distance uh, passed so it is uh, due to uh, or uh, during delta x so you uh, you will see this it is the change in the distance so here m dot out will be rho u this is in the x direction d y d z plus the change of this expression which is delta of or del of rho u divided by delta x or del x uh, it is actually del x and now you are multiplying it by delta x delta y delta z so this is the expression for the x direction now we will add that for the z direction and notice here that uh, since uh, many people confuse with the units the units here is that this is in uh, taking this uh, you will have it in kilograms per second because uh, the row is kilograms per meter cubed times u which is meter per second times the area which is meter squared and you will have meter cubed crossing out with meter crossing out with meter squared and it's kilograms per second so uh, this is just to make a point here now we continue and we uh, write down the mass flow rate out of for the uh, y direction and as you see rho v dx dz which is the same here dx dz which is the same coming in plus this uh, the uh, derivation of this with respect to its uh, distance which is y so uh, delta rho v divided by del y multiplied by delta y or dy dx dz so we are dividing by delta this is delta and these are dy dx dz so uh, so uh, make sure you uh, see the difference this is uh, d and uh, you should add it to the last term which is rho 
w dx dy plus the change in rho w in the z direction multiplied by dz and dx dy so as you see the only change you are uh, we are uh, noticing here is that there is a change in rho w in terms of uh, dz so we are so it is in terms of the uh, unit uh, length or uh, small uh, length so, so we are dividing it by delta z uh, by delta z and multiplying it by dz and this is all equal to the m dot out so now we have the uh, all the expressions so what we do here is m dot out m dot in sorry is equal to m dot out plus the m dot remaining so uh bringing m dot out to the left hand side it will be m dot in minus m dot out therefore the expression will look like this m dot in minus m dot out and therefore you can cross out the terms this term will be a crossed out with this term here and this term which is in the y direction will be crossed out with this one in the y direction and that in the z direction will be crossed out with that in the z direction what will remain here is m dot in minus m dot out therefore what will remain are these uh these terms however in the negative uh, form so in the negative form they are equal to this uh, uh expression which is m dot remaining so we can write it again here so minus delta rho u divided by uh, delta x multiplied by dx dy dz minus delta rho v divided by delta y multiplied by dy dx dz plus sorry that's minus as we said rho uh, delta rho w divided by delta z multiplied by dz dx this is the sorry the y and it is equal to delta rho over delta t which is the uh, the mass flow rate remaining and this mass flow rate is multiplied also by uh, delta x del this sorry a change in uh, the density is multiplied by delta x delta y delta z because uh, this is also a mass flow rate but it is that of the control volume so what can we cross out now we can cross out the uh, delta v which is delta x delta y delta z or sorry dx dy dz and we will be left out with this expression so taking the left hand uh, terms to the right hand uh, side you will have delta rho u divided by delta x plus delta rho v divided by delta y plus delta rho w divided by delta z is uh, plus also delta rho divided by delta t is equal to zero this is the continuity equation we need to reach so we reach this uh, equation now for a steady state as i told you this is the unsteady uh, term so in steady state you will have rho equals to constant and the density equals to constant means that the change in density with time is equals to zero therefore this term goes to zero and you can cross out the terms rho from the uh, equations uh, from the equation and from the terms in the equation so what you are be, what will you be left with is uh, delta u divided by delta x plus delta v divided by delta y plus delta w divided by delta z is equal to zero and this is the steady state form so thank you very much for watching and if you have any question you can ask me whenever you want and i'm so happy to answer you goodbye